Welcome back to Legend Danny. Today we're here at the famous Hawker Old Airport Road. I've never been here, this is my first time, but I just watched a YouTube video by Mikey Chan, whose YouTube channel is called Strictly Dumpling, and he says this is one, if not his favorite hawker center in Singapore. So I hope the food is great, let's eat. The old airport road hawker center was built in 1972 and you can find more than 160 stalls selling delicious food just a few minutes walk away from Dakota MRT station. It is considered to be one of the larger and best food centers to get great food at reasonable prices in Singapore. We see super long queues in front of certain shops which often shows the more popular stalls approved by the locals. To start, grab yourself a lime juice and let's get started. So we're going to start our tour with the lor mee from Xing Mei Xiang Zhengzhong lor mee. The noodles are immersed in thick gravy infused with five spices and herbs. The bowl is topped with garnishes such as egg, chili, pork belly, garlic, coriander, bean sprouts, which makes it an amazing bowl of deliciousness. Mm. You can taste the strong garlic and also nice vinegar taste. The noodles have a very gooey consistency, sticky kind of yummy yellow noodles. Trying the pork belly. Mm. Nice, tender and juicy. Next up, chi cheong fun or rice noodle rolls filled with different interesting toppings such as char siu, prawn, ota, century egg, you can choose whatever you like. So I was very intrigued about the filling with ota because I've never heard of chi cheong fun or rice noodle rolls with ota inside or century egg. So we decided to go for a classic prawn rice roll and also one with ota. What is great about this shop, they make their own chi cheong fun from scratch. You can see the process of making every single roll by itself. Every roll is made to order, so when you order, they are gonna make it fresh for you. It's gonna be piping hot and nice. This stall is supposed to be serving one of the best chi cheong fun in Singapore. The chi cheong fan is soaked up in the light soy sauce and bursting with intense flavor. First, we're gonna try the rice noodle roll with ota. I would say it goes pretty well together because it has like this fish paste flavor together with this uh, light soy sauce. Oh, great combination with the roasted onions. I love the silkiness of the roll's skin. Delicious. Our third dish is gonna be nice char siu and roast pork, which we got from Rose Paradise. The meat is cooked in a drum, which is heated up by charcoal beneath for many hours. The stall is actually famous for fatty parts of the char siu meat. Um, it looks relatively lean to me, but let's see if you can really taste the fatty flavor of these meats. Mm. Oh. It really melts in your mouth. It is super sweet. It is really, really, really tender and tastes really, really good. One of the best char I've tried in my life. Next up, the siu yuk. Mm. So porky. The skin is still crispy. Perfect. Very juicy, not dry at all. Moist meat. The roasted meats, they come with condiments such as chili sauce, some more of the sweet sauce, and some mustard. But honestly, the meat is so good. The cereal, the char siu, super good, even without any condiments or dipping sauces. The rice comes uh, very aromatic, kind of chicken rice rice. Mm. Moist and flavorful, nice. There's so much flavor in one bite of rice. I can taste the mm, 
a scallions, ginger, maybe some chicken fats. Mm, mm, mm. My God, this char siu is really, really juicy and tender. Oh my God, it's so good. It melts in your mouth. Of course, the previous dishes were not everything we're gonna eat today. So we are continuing with a brimming bowl of fish head noodle soup. Look at this hearty, milky broth topped with crispy brown fried fish. Expecting all the sweetness from the fish in this naturally rich fish broth. We were lucky the stall just opened when we passed by and we did not have to wait long. Let's try. First we try the broth. Very hearty, not too fishy. And I would say a good fish broth. I don't really taste much of the XO flavor, but a very yummy broth. Time to try the cheek meat from the fish head. Very mild flavor, not very fishy. Which I like. The meat is pretty firm and yummy. Next up, we have the live prawn noodles with the yellow noodles right here. Simple dish with bean sprouts, some veggies, prawns, and noodles. You can easily understand why it's called live prawn noodles. Simply because the prawns are literally alive until you place your order and are then boiled directly for maximum freshness. Noodle types are freely choosable. So, we have three very big live prawns which were literally just boiled and cooked in front of me. Let's start with the broth. Mmm, really umami flavored. Rich, flavorful prawn broth. Very nice. It's gonna peel the fresh live prawns. Mmm, definitely fresh. The natural sweetness of the prawns goes very well with the soup. The prawns are really big. It's got a bitey feeling to it, not too chewy and not too soft. We're gonna try a little plate of Hokkien Mee, fried Hokkien Mee with some little shrimps in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour some chili and spread the calamansi on top of this. Quite a decent plate of fried Hokkien Mee. The noodles are held together in a kind of gooey, mixery, creamy kind of texture. It all kind of sticks nicely together, probably because of their secret broth. We have another little snack here. It's called popia. It's basically a Singaporean style of spring roll. Such a cute shop. And the lady who made this had really great popia rolling skills. Mmm. Popia roll is really warm. It's a mouthful of crushed peanuts, garlic, chili, radish, and other veggies. Mmm, really good. Let's finish off today's tour with a nice chendol with durian topping. Time for dessert. This Nyonya Chendol shop is a chain which can be found in quite a few hawker locations in Singapore. As so often, it's a very hot day in Singapore and after enjoying all that good food, all I need is a little cooling sweet dessert to complete my day. This Chendol dessert is made of coconut milk, shaved ice, tapioca starch and whatever topping you want, for example red bean or durian. I chose a Chendol with a D24 durian because I love durian. Oh. It smells like heaven. Mm. Durian is the best. So let's try the shaved ice filled with this Kula Melaka sugar. Mm. So refreshing. Perfect dessert. Wow. Mm. That was an amazing food tour today. If you stuck around until now, I'm gonna share my honest opinion about the best store here at Old Airport Road Hawker Center. The best food that I think we had today is the Rose Paradise 
the char siu and the siu yuk of that store were really amazing. If you don't have the stomach to eat all these kind of different foods, definitely try the Rose Paradise char siu and siu yuk with the flavorful rice. It was amazing. One of the best, if not the very best, char siu and siu yuk store I've ever had. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.